Hi everyone, it's Mike and today we're going to do another video on our wild food foraging series. Now, this um, fungi actually that I'm going to show you is not for me, but I know for a fact it's edible and I know for a fact that every single person could identify this without a shadow of a doubt. I normally leave fungi well alone anyway because I don't really like mushrooms and things like that, they're not my kind of thing, but if they are then you know that's up to you to go find the rest of them. But to me this is the most simple one that I know of and everyone will have seen this. Predominantly grows on elder, so that might just give it away. What we're going to look at today is the juice deer fungus, so let's get some close ups. So guys, what the camera was actually standing on then is a big branch of, I think, elder. And hopefully you can see those there. These are Juzea fungus. Now it's growing everywhere over the plant. And as you can see, it's very easy to identify. So, zoom back out. Get some proper close ups. So, put the camera down like this, give it a hopefully, give it a steady place to just grab onto. Like that. And there we go. So, that's the juicy fungus. Now what I'll do is I'll take one of these off like this, so you can see the underside. Just want to put my hand in front of the camera so it's focused properly. Just changes the autofocus. That's a little tip for anyone with a HD camera. So there we go. Now the top is quite velvety, and the bottom is quite slimy a bit like an ear to be honest hence where it gets its name from looks very like a bit of flesh quite deceitful looking but actually it's a wild edible now if you open this up you can see that it's quite jelly inside um, and very tough to eat apparently but it's actually a delicacy, I think, in Japan or China or something something like that. And you can make soups with it. So this has just been a quick video on the Jew's ear fungus. Let's give you a little close-up shot. So guys, as I said, not for me, um, I'm not a fungus eater really, but I know some people are, so this is just one of those easy, easy to identify wild edibles that I like, you know, because they're easy to identify, there's no need to be scared of things that you have a positive ID on. So, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, and I will see you on the next video.